Liberals freak as Trump hits special counsel Robert Mueller with one savage question. Liberals have another reason to freak out after President Donald Trump hits special counsel Robert Mueller with one savage question. You won't want to miss this. The Russian collusion investigation is no longer a standalone farce. Now, the probe is seen as part of a larger scheme to undermine our president. The investigation, which has better become known as a witch hunt, has gone on for over a year and resulted in zero evidence. Of course, no one is surprised by the outcome, but many including Trump are outraged at the fact that Mueller and his team of 13 Democrat attorneys have been allowed to bring embarrassment and shame to our country. In a recent post on Twitter, Trump mailed Mueller and his team of haters with a savage question that millions of American patriots would love to have answered. When will the 13 angry Democrats, and those who worked for President O, reveal their disqualifying conflicts of interest? It's been a long time now. Will they be indelibly written into the report along with the fact that the only collusion is with the Dems, Justice, FBI and Russia? Trump wrote, I could not agree more with the president's demand to know when the vile lefties on Mueller's team will come clean about their colossal conflicts of interests. When will their dirty laundry be aired out publicly for all to see? After all, their work is being paid for by taxpayers, and we are entitled to every last detail about what they are doing and why they are doing it. Trump's bold tweet comes on the heels of a meeting held on Thursday, May 24, 2018, between the president the House Intelligence Committee, the DOJ, and members of the White House staff, according to Breitbart. The meeting focused in on the FBI's decision to place at least one spy in or around the Trump campaign to gather information which would eventually be used to launch the Russian collusion investigation. This recent devastating revelation of illegal spying on a political campaign completely supports and solidifies America's deepest fears that the deep state does indeed exist and operates above the law with little regard for the constitutional rights of their political enemies. This is the kind of thing you might expect in countries like Venezuela or Iran, but for it to happen in the United States is truly incomprehensible. All the Trump haters out there who bashed the president and cried about a constitutional crisis when he fired former FBI Director James Comey can now finally shut up. Comey and his former Deputy FBI Director Andrew McCabe were neck deep in corruption and played very crucial roles for the deep state and their efforts to undermine the current administration. The disturbing fact of the matter is that James Comey, Andrew McCabe, former CIA director John Brennan, and many others who held top-level positions within our government agencies not only allowed their organizations to become politicized but they directly acted on behalf of the Obama administration to attack Trump and his campaign associates with whatever means they deemed necessary. In my opinion, it's long past time for real criminal charges to be brought against those who were found plotting against not just our president but against our democracy itself. These traitors should not be dealt with lightly. It would send a message to the world and to others who may consider committing such acts of treason in the future if those found guilty were publicly paraded in handcuffs and orange jumpsuits before being walked off to prison. Even prison seems like a lenient sentence for the level of corruption and betrayal carried out by the deep state. Those found guilty of conspiring against our president and our country should face a firing squad or be publicly hanged. In my opinion, that would be much more effective in preventing future corruption of this magnitude. What is truly astounding are the accomplishments our president has been able to achieve even under constant attack from the deep state and the majority of Democrats. In addition to attacks from the left, Trump has dealt with betrayal on a constant basis from his own party and this is why it is crucial for Trump supporters to send a clear message in the midterm elections that we love our president and we continue to support him 100%.